Welcome back guys, Steve O Runs, the channel created for like-minded people who are looking to become fitter and healthier people. And if that sounds like you, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom and let's go through our running journeys together. Right, I'm up bright and early today. Um, it's Sunday, it's long run day. I've done a few miles this week already, but I want to test myself today for my upcoming marathon in three weeks, where um, this is my first ever one. So today I'm going to run try and run 20 miles at like a race pace so somewhere between eight minute miles and maybe just below just it's kind of going off piste of um the training plan i'm doing at the minute i'm supposed to be running 15 miles today but i read a lot online about saying that 20 miles is the maximum you should go and i'm doing it for reasons of um confidence really to see if what sort of state i'm in um after 20 miles if i can make it that far at that speed and I also want to try out the, the bag I'm going to be carrying on my back, the camel back. And I want to try out the nutrition. So it's all because I don't want to go in the dark on this first marathon. I want to kind of know where I am, see how I feel after 20 miles. So that's the plan today. I'm sure you'll tell me if it's the right thing or wrong thing to do in the comments. And I always appreciate the feedback, but that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to give it a go today and see how we get on. My apologies if I'm talking quietly. It's 6am. My family's still asleep. I don't want to wake everyone up. But next time... Uh, you hear from me in a minute will be hopefully a few miles into my 20 mile long run so don't go anywhere i'll be back with you in about an hour or so peace <laughs> Okay, so I took a bit of a risk this morning. I went out of that my torch or any lights at all. It was pitch black for the first well black for the first three miles, it just started to lighten up at about five. So you see it's just getting light now. Um I'm six and a half miles in. Uh things are going well actually, let me just check my uh, stats. Okay, my heart's at 157 as we speak, it's averaging like 158. And that average, average pace is 7.46 at the moment. So, all good so far. Feeling comfortable, legs aren't hurting. There's a car coming, I'll update you in a second. So one thing I did notice is, which is obvious that will happen, is that the bag I'm carrying water and all my gear with on my back. You probably can't see it, but got my camel back on that I'm gonna use for the marathon. And that's raised my heart rate at the beginning. But I should have found a good rhythm to be holding out nicely at the you know, top of the 150s at a half decent pace. So all good so far, but I'm only the third of the way through. So I'll get back to concentrating now and I'll update you at 10 miles as soon as day. All right, so, 10 miles in. Sounds like there's cars all around here, but actually on the main road across there, so got to watch me back. All right, 10 miles in, feeling good, really good, actually. Just, uh, we just started to dig in my hips a little bit. The usual pain I get in there. But I'm happy with that at 10 miles, because you to come earlier than that. I think the strength and mobility must be working slowly but surely. Um, I found a beautiful, um, rhythm at the minute, uh, like 159, 158 to 160, if you can see that or not. At average, and my pace is what, 727. So, my heart's at a comfortable pace. Um, I know my easy zone from a threshold test uh, is maximum 156. So, I'm running at 159, 158, even 160 feels really comfortable. And somehow, this feels easier. They're doing a long slow run. I know this the long slow one has way more benefits, but just keeping a pace like this keeps your form. It's like an easier motion to keep doing. Strange. Anyway, so far so good. Um, I was trying out my nutrition and that today as well. Trying to get that right for the marathon day. Um, got a banana root pocket with my backpack. 
and I got my usual banana gels, a sack of water on my back, some electrolytes, all things that I need to get right for the day. Anywho, talking is making me get out of breath. My heart's got to watch this for because I'm talking. So I'll be back at mile 15 if I'm still going strong. See you then. All right, still going. But happily, I've just completed a half marathon. And most honestly, one of the most comfortable half marathons I've done. Um, maybe this is a flat course. Maybe it's just a good day, I don't know, but I was a half marathon in one hour 41 on the dot. So if I can keep this up, I'll happily uh, get through to 20, but my legs are feeling tired where my hips are. My, my chest, my breathing feels great. If I get up, I'm talking to you. I'm still at a nice steady, yeah, just over 160 now because I'm talking, but uh, I'm maintaining a nice pace, a nice comfortable heart rate. Nothing that's gonna push me over the edge. But like I say, I know it's after 20 where it gets older you. So I'll let you go. I'll be back in a mo. Half marathon done. 141. Back soon. 14 and a half miles. Time for a banana. <laughs> I was, I'll never forget one of our uh, viewers, the ADB running, I think his name is. I was asking him about his marathon and he said, had a banana late on, it's the best banana he's ever had in his life. <laughs> I don't know why it just tickles me that one. So, I'm going to have one note for to get the same feeling. Nice place to run anyway. Long, straight roads, soft on the feet. Everything's going to plan. Still 160 heart rate. Average pace, 743 from nearly 15 miles in, so really happy. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my banana. Best banana I've ever had. See you soon. Okay. 16.6 miles, nearly there. Three and a bit to go, just 5k, come on. Right, so I got to about the 15, I'm sorry if it's really dark, it looks dark here. I got to about the 15 mile mark, or 14 and a half to 15. It's when my heart started to raise, the fatigue started to sit in. I'm 162, I'm average 161 now, but to maintain this pace, I'm like 165. So, not a huge difference. This is the whole reason I've done this run for, is to see whereabouts I am and how far I could go at a certain heart rate. So, but I was getting loud in as a main road, so I don't think you want to want a quiet one near the end. All going good. See you then. Oh my, oh my. 19 miles. I want to home straight back to my house. I'm not going to lie, it's difficult. Heart's at 168. Average 162, so happy with average. Um, it's the fatigue in my legs that are. They're getting to get you, but long so good. My legs feel tired. All right, one more to go. I'll update you then. Oh my god. I did it. I made it. My god, that last two miles was a dig. Holy crap. All right, let's see. Excuse the blind spot on my phone, on my watch. 20 miles and 04. 7.46 pace. Happy days. Don't know what time that says, that big white dot's in the way. Okay, good. Really happy with that. Well, I don't know where that other six miles is gonna come from on marathon day, but I think that's where the mind has to take over a bit then, blank out the pain, because that's hard. But I've shown today whether you think that was worth doing or not. I'll give myself a bit of confidence that I can go around in, what was that, 7.46? And my heart rate was like 162 average. So I'm really, really chuffed for that. The heart rate training has done its job for me today. It kept me low enough in the early stages to 
be able to beef it up at the end and still have a bit in the tank. I think the last mile was like an eight minute mile, so really tough for that. Anyway, um, I'll probably just end the video here. I don't know if it's been too short, but what I'll do, I'll just stick a picture on of the final stats on there right now. And then, hope you join me again. This is Steve Runs. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. My marathons in three weeks. I really love a bit of support on that. I'll take my camera around like I did today and see if we can get the sub 330 that I'm aiming for, sub uh, 329. So, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. Look at my Strava, Steve Runs. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.